Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to his charity shop haul. So, um, yeah, I've picked up a few bits from the charity shops yesterday. Um, I have been crazy busy. I'm going to be crazy busy for the next few days. Any reseller will know why. It's just the time of year. Things are really starting to kick off again, which I'm really happy about. Because it's been a bit slow. Um, November, you know, a bit up and down. Um, and, you know, I mean, overall it turned out okay, but, you know, it was a bit up and down the ride. So... I'm really glad that now in December it's picked up again, so without further ado, I'll just quickly blast through these and then I've got to get on with some packing, so yeah. Uh, first item, this is probably my favourite item, um, it is sort of like a rectangular uh, old vintage bottle, it's lovely, it's a Day and Sons, the only genuine Day and Sons white oils crew, uh, that's what it says, it's embossed in there, really really lovely bottle, I've actually got this on for 30 quid. My heart might be ruling my head a little bit, but to be honest, I do think that if someone sees the right person sees it, it's a nice larger bottle. It it really is lovely. I really do like this one, and uh, I think if the right person sees it, they might pick it off of that. But I've got offers on it. You know, obviously, I'd probably be willing to to accept twenty quid for it. I paid. A, I've not got the stick on anymore. I think it was two pound twenty five for this because the other one was £1.75 but I got the other one with a with another bottle, it was like a set of two um, so I paid £4 in total but yeah really really nice one this, I just I just love it and it's got it's got a nice colour to it, it's just like a very very mild green um, it's almost clear but it's just got a very very mild green which you see quite a lot but it's just I just really like it so yeah that's that one uh, as I say £2.25 hopefully, hopefully I get 20 at least even if I have to bring that price down um, Another vintage bottle here for £1.79. This was with another one, but I think the other one is in the other room. It's not a very good one, but it just came as a set of two for £1.75. Um, it is, I don't think you're going to see this very well, but um, it is a uh, Greenall, Whitley and Co. Limited, uh, Warrington, and then it's just got some sort of uh, design on there. I don't know what it is, maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's something like the logo of the company, or I, I don't know. But, it, you know, it's a fairly standard bottle. I'd probably just be, like, looking about 12 quid, something like that, for that one. Maybe push 15 or something, but you put, I'd probably be waiting a bit longer on that one. That one might go a bit quicker, because I can see that that's going to... Personally, for me, that's a bit more desirable, so that one might go a bit quicker. But this one might take a little bit longer. Generally, um, what I found with a lot of bottles is they're quite slow. But if you get the right ones, they, they're not slow, they are quick. But really, the gem, general ones can be quite slow. Um, sequin art, brand new and sealed. I picked up for three quid. It's just time of year. I'll probably get 12, 15 quid for that. Nothing special. But, you know, I thought I'd just pick it up anyway. I was in a bit of a buying mood, so, yeah, I just picked that one up. So hopefully I get... I, I think I've stuck it on for 15, but we'll see. I might have to reduce that sort of 13 quid, something like that. But yeah, it should go this time of year. Uh, this was really cool. I looked at this in the um, in the charity shop. I saw it on the top shelf, two ninety nine, and I thought, oh, that's intriguing. I bet you there's some money in that. So I searched it on my phone, and um, yeah, but basically it's a bit weird. This one, there's one on for forty five pound. I think there's another one on for a bit less, but I'm not too sure. Um, but there's one on for £45. I didn't check whether that was brand new or used. This one is used, but it's boxed. Um, but there's none sold. So I think that that guy's just maybe shooting for £45. Uh, whether he gets it or not, or whether she gets it or not, I don't know. I mean, it's anyone's guess. I've actually gone quite low on this at 20 quid because I don't know. I think we're gonna, the person who's got it on for 45 I think we're going to be waiting a while. I mean, we might get 45 quid for it. But we might be waiting a while. I've sort of packed my title with keywords, whacked it on, you know, whacked it on pretty low, and just hope that someone finds it just before Christmas, and then it can get gone pretty quick. So we'll see on that one. But that's my kind of my strategy with that. Um, Seal niche DVD. I know I only send, well, mainly I send up fifteen pound plus items to FBA, but it was fifty p, and it goes it goes for ten pound thirty odd, and I thought. I just break my rule for that one because it's so easy. Just you know, 50p, slap in a box, label it up, really easy. So yeah, that was that one. Um, something I didn't break my rule for, but it is bang on my rule. This is 15 quid on FBA. Paid 350 for it, so I did pay up a little bit, but still, there'll be some money in that. 
so yeah that was then that's quite easy to put on as well um paid 9.99 for this brand new and sealed lego set again from a charity shop lego ninjago um i believe this is a retired set i, I don't know i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure i'd have to look on brick set um but yeah 9.99 it goes to 38.99 on amazon so that'll be going up in time for christmas um and then i picked this up just kind of because i've never seen one of these Nothing special, I doubt it's going to be worth a lot of money, but I paid 150 and it is Scrabble, uh, it's like a turntable edition. I've not seen this boxed edition, so I just thought, oh, it's interesting, I'll pick it up. Um, we'll see, might be 12, 15 quid, something like that, I can't imagine it being loads, but yeah, I just wanted to pick it up because I've never seen it before, really. Sometimes, sometimes I think to myself, oh, I'll, I'll just pick that up because I've not seen it before and it's cool to pick up. Um, right then, what else? We have, I don't think you're going to see this in all its entirety, but it's a Carlton suit carrier, suit, yeah, suitcase, suit carrier, I think it's more of a suit carrier uh, that they're called. I paid 350 for it, it's a pretty, pretty big thing, as you can see, I know it's not the best view there, but pretty big thing. Yeah. Um, I paid, yeah, as I say, I paid 350 for it. Suit carriers, I mean, I've sold a couple of them before for around the 12 quid. I think I might have touched 15 quid on one of them. I just picked it up. We'll see. It was a punt. I might get a bit more than that. I really don't. I mean, again, it's Christmas, but is that really a Christmassy item? Is that something that's going to pick up at Christmas? Probably not, so it might not affect the price, actually, but we'll see. You know, we'll see what I get for it. Um, I'm certainly minimum going to get 12, but hopefully I could get a bit more than that since I paid 3.50. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, right, let's see this. If I can even open it. Oh god, that's stiff. Right, there we go. So, this is a box. A box. Uh, I'm going to pull it out because you can't really see it there, but it's a box. Uh... Oh, is it attached in? Oh, it's attached in. Oh, that's lovely, that. Um, it's a boxed Zenit. I think mean, it's a 211, is it? Oh, oh no, 122. It's a uh, 122, so I'm imagining that's a model number. It's got a lovely Helos lens on it. Uh, it's got uh, 1 dash 3.5. No, 1 colon 3.5 dash 45. F equal 28 dash 70 millimeters. To be honest, I don't know what that means. I just know it's a Helos lens, and a Helos lens is going to do okay. I'm pretty sure like a Helos lens is about 30 quid. So what I'll probably do, and um, what's worth doing in a lot of cases with cameras, is actually selling the lens separately to the body. I don't like doing it, to be fair, because I really do want, like, with this in its box, you know, in its lovely, lovely case here, and it's all set up nicely, I really am on the fence, because I don't want to, like, take it out part by part. I want someone to have the full setup but if i do that they're gonna i'm gonna be able to charge less so yeah he lost lens there i don't know i'm just guessing but i've had he lost lenses in the past and they've been about 30 quid if not a bit more so yeah that's quite a nice one there that lens body probably like 15 quid something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but it'll be something like that you can just research on ebay if you want yourself he lost one two two uh, camera body. We've got some sort of other lens. Oh, I didn't see this actually when I was buying it. Oh, that's cool. Hey, anyway, yeah, we've got another Helos lens in there. That's going to be a bit of money there. Um, I don't know for that one. Maybe twenty, twenty-five quid. It's a little bit of a smaller one, but we'll see. It might even be more than that. But I didn't even see that when I was buying it. So um, yeah, so that was uh, that one came with it. Obviously, it's got its really nice case all set up beautifully. Um, it's got a shoulder strap or something there. I don't know. It might be a shoulder strap. Um, it's got a some sort of lens protector, I think that is. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, some, like, again, lens protector type thing or something. I um, don't even know what that is. I think it's one of them, but it's just, like, screwed up. Um, we've got a... We've got a flash in there. Flash is probably going to be about a ten or something like that. It's a Cobra Flash. Um, never heard of that name before, Cobra, but flashes aren't the best. But, I mean, obviously there's certain ones that do really well and then there's other ones that aren't as good. And then there's just a few other little bits in here. And then we've got another lens. Um, don't know what this one is. I did look at it, but I see there's nothing on it. 
So I think it's on, I think the brand must be somewhere else on it, I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna have, gonna have to look at that in a bit more detail. I can't see if there's any brand on it or anything, but it's a... Or is it, no, I think this is like a lens extender or something actually. Not a specific lens, like a standalone lens, I think it's like an extender for a lens. Um, but we'll see on that one. And then I've just got in here some, oh, uh, a lens, oh, teleconverter, oh yeah. I think I've sold one of them before, not this one specifically, you don't get loads of money for these, but obviously there'll be certain ones that do better than others, so I'd have to research that separately. Um, and it comes in that little thing, um, and as I say, we've got a beautiful case, we've got a really, really lovely case, I don't know whether you're going to see it in its entirety, how I see it, you know, in the flesh, but it is a really lo lovely case, and we've got, oh, we've even got the... Zenith, Zenith Owner's Handbook. Oh, I thought it was a Zenit, not a Zenith, but um, Zenith Owner's Handbook. Oh, no, the company or something is called Zenith, but the camera is called Zenit. Ah, right, okay, I get it. Um, so, yeah, in terms of, and this case says Eatus Bros Limited. Um, I imagine even for the case, you're probably looking about 15 quid for a case like this. I'm, I'm just guessing, but obviously. I, I've got to a point where with my reselling now where I can actually guess quite confidently at prices. Like, I don't need to go on eBay completely and sold. I just can kind of just guess. It, it, it's weird, but I, I know that, like, more experienced resellers that are watching this will understand what I'm talking about. Newer resellers, obviously, you'll get to that point at some stage, so then you'll know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, so, lovely case, that. Um, as I say, oh, yeah, I didn't tell you what I paid. I paid 25 quid. I was taking a bit of a punt at that, considering I didn't even see that other lens that was in there, wherever it was. Was it this one? I didn't even see that lens in there, so I didn't know that was even in the bundle. So I was taking a bit of a chance at 25 quid, but yeah, now looking at it all, there should be some half-decent money in it. I don't know, I mean, conservatively 70, 80. Sorry guys, my camera cut off, obviously, well, my phone cut off, obviously, my memory was full or something. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I think I was kind of saying, um, conservatively, we're looking probably about 70, 80 quid, maybe close to that 100 quid, so I'm quite happy with that. Obviously, I've got to do individual research on the lenses, and prices might be a bit lower or higher than I thought, but yeah, I think I'm pretty safe, my 25 quid's pretty safe, so yeah, pretty happy with that little pickup. And then finally... I'm not going to show you all of them, but it's like another vintage bottle pickup. Um, to tell you the truth, there's actually not that many, well, actually there's pretty much none, like, amazing ones in here. They're all just, like, bread and butter ones. Um, but I paid a tenner for the lot, and there's, like, 20 of them or something. So at 50p each, I couldn't kind of say no. Um, but, as I say, there's not really any amazing, amazing ones, and they all do need a little bit of a clean-up. I don't know whether I'm going to get this one in great condition actually looking at it, but, um, well, yeah, this is this one's a bit crap, actually. Um, but this one is, uh, what is it? Bent's Brewery Co. Limited Liverpool. It's got nice embossing on, though. That's got really, really well done embossed. It's really well embossed, that one. I don't know whether you're going to see it, but, yeah. And like, someone must have dug these up and then kept them for years and years and years and then just thought, oh, we'll dump them in a charity shop. But yeah, I mean, a lot of them aren't even branded. Um, there are a couple of weird ones in here that might do pretty well, but other than that, it's just all, like, standard ones. Um, this one is Edmondson's Bottle, Bottle Par. T. Edmondson's Bottle Park. I don't even know what that is, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, I'll try and see if I can't find you that really weird one. There was a really weird one in here. One sec. There was a really, really weird one. There's just another few, like, really little ones. I might try a couple of these in my cabinet, but to tell you the truth, I don't think the bottles are going to do well in my cabinet. A lot of people seem to have them up there, and... They just seem to sit, sit on the shelf, there's some sort of bottle there, it looks like some sort of chemical bottle or something. Something tonic, something tonic it says on it, I can't read it properly. I'm trying to find that really weird one, ah there it is. So that's a bit of a weird one. I don't know how old this one is or anything, I mean obviously it's got some age to it. 
but it's a bit of a weird one. I've not seen one like that. I don't know what would be kept in that. If everyone, anyone knows what would be kept in that, that'd be really cool if you could pop it down below. Um, but yeah, just really, really cool. Uh, so that one's like a really cool one. And then there's just tons and tons of, I've got like three shoe boxes full. Um, as I say, probably about 20 bottles or something. So there's some in there. There's some in that other shoe box that I kind of just showed you them, or some of them. And then there's another shoe box in here. Oh, and then there's like a stoneware one here, but this isn't in very good condition. Um, yeah, that isn't in good condition, really. It's uh, Waynesworth Runcorn. Waynesworth Runcorn. So they're all kind of locally bottles, you know, sort of Cheshire area. Um, and then got like loads of other little ones, just loads and loads of them in here. I'll show you a couple more and then I'll leave it at that because there's just too many to go through individually and they're not like really exciting ones, not really high end ones or anything. I might do a bit, where necessary, I might try and do little bundles if I can. I don't know how well bundles actually work with bottles, I don't think they work that well but you know I could always try a few little bundles with some of the little ones and see if we go doing that, I don't know. Because um, like with this here, that one is quite similar to that one. You know, it's not the same, but it's quite similar. There's a little bit of a chip in that one actually there. But um, yeah, I mean, like with things like that, it's, I'm probably best doing smaller bundles. Um, and then we've got another little one there, you know. So like with the little ones, it might be worth me doing a little bundle. I'm not sure, maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, so... There's loads of them here, there's loads of little ones in here. Um, so yeah, we'll see on them. It might be a really good score, it might be like a really mm, not not great at all. I personally don't think it's going to be amazing. I might get out of my tenner, I might get 30, 35, maybe 40 quid back. I mean, if I sell a couple of the big ones for a tenner a pop and then do some bundles here and there, I might, might be lucky and get 40 or 50 back, but I don't think it's going to be a great score. So it was a bit of a punt. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I'll do some bundles and uh, we'll see if it's going to be a winner or not. When I do it, because really I need to do some research first on these because there might be one name that is really, really good and then although the bottle isn't in great condition, it's still going to do pretty well because of the name. So, yeah, I don't know at the moment, but just on first glances, I can't see anything amazing, amazing in there. But yeah, so that's the end of my haul, guys. I don't think I've got anything else to show you. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to find the camera. I've not had a camera pick up in a while, so yeah, it was quite cool to find that. Um, I hope that everyone else's Q4 is going well at the moment. Um, mine certainly is starting to pick up now, which is really good. Um, and yeah, I will see you in another video, whatever that may be. I've got a Lego investing haul video lined up at some point. Um, I've still got a few things to arrive in the post. Um, for this month, the month of December, but then after they arrive, I'll be doing a Lego investing haul. I've got a fair bit this month, probably spent about 240 on Lego, so I've got a fair bit, you know, I've got a, a decent haul to show you, um, and yeah, I'm quickly running out of space for where I'm putting this Lego, to be honest, so uh, yeah, I need, to, I need a bit of a storage solution soon, but yeah, um, saying that, I will leave it there guys, I won't ramble on anymore. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like. If you uh, do want to drop a comment down below about anything you've seen here, then please feel free to. And also, you know, any video suggestions or anything like that are always welcome. So again, they can go down below in the comments section. I don't think I missed anything else out, so I will see you in the next one guys. See you very soon.